Today we're going to be over here and we're going to be hunting these mountaintops to try and find some bedded bighorn sheep out here on Rancho del Arroyo. And then after that, we're going to head on over to Cuatro Colinas in hopes we're finding some giant mouflon. Well, we actually got a bobcat out there roughly 220 yards out on the bottom of this valley right out in front of us here. Since we happen to have the 22-250, we're going to go for a shot. And we'll probably hold for center lung. That's going to take him down. Right there. So very nice. Oh, what do we got taken off here? That's kind of cool. One random muley out there. And we got another bobcat out there as well. That's a female. Hold on. There might be something else out there as well. But in this case here, it looks like that's going to be it. So since we took down that one bobcat right there, why not take down another one? And she's going down right there as well. I take it the mule deer was bedded right here. What? You're telling me there was a bighorn bedded right here? I didn't see it. And there was a nice male? In fact, uh, potentially a max weight male? 8 until 11 and it's 10.30. That's very strange. Where the heck were they? I don't know. I really don't know. But they were definitely here at some point. All right. Here is one of our bobcats. That is the level six. And we double lunged him at 230 yards. And here's the female. Got a lung, liver, stomach shot. 250 yards. Ooh, that's a cool red colored one, actually. Really cool bobcat. And jackpot, guys. We just found a huge ram coming right towards us here. That's actually the one that was bedded down in the bottom of that ridge right behind us. So he's coming this direction here. And if we can get over to this next point here, we should be able to get a shot on him. But I also don't want to potentially spook anything that could be over here as well. Yeah, there could be a big ram over there. In fact, there's a lot of stuff over there. Ooh, there we go. We got us on another decent bighorn. Not a giant, but definitely a real decent one out there. About 215 yards on the bottom of this ravine here. And then there's another one coming through there. I feel like this first one's actually a little bit bigger. He's definitely bigger. So we're going to go for him roughly 215 yards out. And hopefully he slows down here, which... Oh boy. We may not be going for the biggest one here. Got a female there. Yeah, we'll have to go for the second biggest one. And we'll just drop him right there. The other one might take off and potentially give us a shot. Sure he will. And we made a horrendous shot. Well, maybe not so much. It didn't look good, but it's looking a lot better now. I'll tell you that. Down to 0%. And he's going down right there. So we ended up getting two. I'll take it. Yeah, I do believe we probably got an intestine hit. There's a doe there. Um, but I was holding right in front of that front shoulder for about 215 on the trot. Ideally, we probably should have held right where his neck fully extended. And that would have been just the right amount of lead on that ram. But nonetheless, it did take him down. So let's mark roughly where he went down. Oh, I want that. I definitely want that. Coyote out there, 250 yards. And we choked. Majorly. We may get a follow-up attempt. But that's it. One more shot is all we're going to get. About 350 out there. Holy. What a shot. We absolutely just dropped that thing on the trot. At 350 yards. I mean, they're not that much difference in size, to be honest. Nice left lung, perfect left lung shot, actually. 200 yards. And this one was right over here. Yep, that's his track. We got blood. So we did, in fact, pull off a non-vital hit. 
And then he went down over here. We must have ran right past him. Because look, you can see the grass is padded down right there. And I don't know how in the heck we didn't see him laying here. But there he is right there. All right, let's take a look at this one. That's going to be a 127, and it's actually a black. So we hit him super far back, which is what I thought did in fact happen. But he's got an actual decent curl on him. Ooh, there's a nice muley buck right there, 50 yards away from us. We're going to try and bust out the bow. And see if we can't pull off this shot. And look like a decent hit. Except for he wasn't 50 yards. We shot him right in the spine. And that is not going to take him down. That's not him. But that is him though. And that is going to take him down. Right there. So we tried to be nice and stealthy about that, but didn't exactly work however at least now we're able to see everything that was over here and so far we definitely got the biggest one wow we had to go for that one i mean that was just too perfect holy actually hit it super super high shot above the spine at 50 yards 216 so he wasn't big enough for a gold but our follow-up shot was epic. Got him on the run 100 yards out. Got a nice lung shot there. Ooh, guess what, guys? I'm pretty sure we just found our nice ram bedded right there. And yes, it is him. He's 189 yards out right there, quartering almost directly away from us. Now, we have the 7mm Ultra Magnum here, so we could definitely go for that shot. And we do have a lot of penetration from this angle. So I'm thinking we might go for it. Try and put it right on that high quarter. Go up in there and get a nice vital hit. All right, well, let's go for it. It's only 215 yards. Wow, look at the curl on that thing. Shot looked good to me. And it doesn't appear to be a vital hit. Unfortunately. Pretty sure he just went down. Pretty sure. All right, we got blood right here and it's not looking too promising, but I do believe we put a follow up in him right over this ridge. All right, so this is the last spot that we took a shot at it. It should be laying right here. It's laying right here, but it's not because we took a shot at it. I am not seeing any more blood. So, I think we only hit it once. Maybe twice, but definitely not very good. We only hit that thing one time. And we got majorly robbed. One, you're talking a seven millimeter. It's going straight for the spine. And two, that's the top of the lung. It's going to hit that spine, ricochet, and absolutely just destroy the top of the lung. And it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to drop instantly. So overall, I mean, I think our shot was pretty much perfect from the angle that we had. It should have hit spine and lung and it should have dropped. But we hit apparently nothing. All right. What was his score actually? 135. Boy, he looks a lot bigger. He looks like a 140, 145 plus. I mean, especially if you look at the mass from the backside. Like, he's so symmetrical as well. He's a great ram. Honestly, he's a great, great ram. All right, well, we found another bighorn out here. This one's a little bit further, and he's actually angled almost the exact same as that last ram that we hit a little bit too high, supposedly. But we're going to go for the same exact shot, and I'm going to see if we can't make a vital hit. So I want to hold a little bit lower this time. That's what's supposed to happen. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. 
Oh, there was another one in there too. Tried for a Texas hard shot and I think we got him a little bit low. But there was another decent ram. Okay, so I literally just looked down and happened to stumble upon this max weight bighorn sheep track right here. Headed back up into the valley, which is right where we just were. Except for on the opposite end. We've been hunting over here and that track seems to be headed this way. So that's awesome. We're going to go track him down in just a second. But for now, we're going to go over here. All right, here we go. Here's our nice big horn laying right here. And it's going to be a 121. So the only difference in that shot is we were just a hair bit lower. And because of that, we managed to get lung and liver. Well, what's odd about that is the fact that... How did we get lung and liver? But here we couldn't get lung and spine. All right, well, there's a little change of plans because we just went over that next ridge and I didn't see any sign that we hit that big horn that was running away from us. So we're going to get back over here now and track down this max weight big horn sheep. Oh my God. I think we just hit the absolute jackpot on finding big rams. Look at that one. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. It's a guaranteed diamond bighorn sheep. Holy, I'm pretty sure diamond is like 156 and up. That thing is 158 to 179. That may be the bighorn diamond bighorn sheep. And he's perfectly broadside right there at about 150 yards. That's another huge ram. What? There's two max weight bighorn sheep in there. And one bullet is not quite gonna be enough in this scenario. Why did they decide to wander off is what I wonder though. Oh, that is not cool. Well, the good thing is we know roughly where they're gonna be hanging out at. So we could always come back here another day and hope that we get lucky enough to find him. But I think I'd rather try and spot and stalk him. I can't even believe they got up that quick and left. Got a nice buck out there too, 350 yards. I hear something. It's gotta be a big horn. What else could it be? Oh my God, it's the big one. It's not the diamond, but it's a big one. Freaking hit the tree. We freaking hit the tree. Oh, are you kidding me? It's okay though. It's okay. Just lost a diamond, now we just lost a max weight ram. 40 yards away from us. And they just keep disappearing. Like, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, wait, that's our diamond. Oh my God, that's our diamond. Okay, let's pay attention, guys. Pay attention. That should be the big one. So there's our diamond. About 150 yards out. Not the greatest angle. But that is, that was, he's going all over the place. We can't exactly tell which direction he's going to go next. The problem is he could start trotting at any second. So we can't risk taking that shot. Now he's trying to climb. Yeah. See? I figured he was going to do that. He's roughly 200 yards right there. Oh my God. We should have taken that shot. We really should have taken that shot, but we couldn't. At the same time, we couldn't. There he goes. Well, what we're going to have to do now is get on over there and see if we can't spot them bedded somewhere down on the bottom of this ridge. Either that or they may be feeding down there. 
I can't believe what we just found. I can't believe that one track led us to something super special. But I also can't believe that we still didn't even get a shot off on him yet. And we've seen him three times. All right, we just made over that next ridge and he's gonna be right down below us. Now it's just a matter of trying to spot him. There's no way they made it over there. They gotta be right down here somewhere. They just gotta be. Oh my God, there he is. There he is. We found him. We found him. Way the heck out there. Well, I don't see the five, but that's the other two. So they did cut left. They tricked us. They cut left on us. Um, well, I feel like we put just as much effort as we possibly could into getting this bighorn today. So we're going to have to come back tomorrow in hopes of relocating them. Yeah, that's it. We tried really hard. We'll come back here tomorrow morning, get a nice early start, and see if we can't locate them out in these mountains. All right, guys, it's the next morning now, and we're back over here on top of these mountains trying to spot that giant time potential bighorn sheep. He's going to be right around one of these ridges here. But you just... No way. I think that's out. Oh. My. God. It's him. He's only 140 yards out. All right, we'll slide over a little bit more and go for the shot. That's gonna be a shot right there. Perfect angle. We're gonna put it right on that front shoulder and right on the crease of a shoulder blade. He's down, yes! Giant bighorn sheep is down. What are the odds that we ended up coming to the exact same location that that bighorn was at? And we could actually see him because look at how thick it is here. You could come in any different angle and you aren't going to be able to see anything. But it just so happened that we peeked around that point right there and I saw a brown patch of fur. And that was him. And here he is laying right here. What an absolute giant ram. And definitely our biggest bighorn sheep of all time and definitely our biggest bighorn sheep of today it's gonna be a diamond 172.95 we got him at 150 yards and made an incredible double lung shot perfect perfect shot i do believe that should be the bighorn diamond bighorn sheep and yes we're getting him mounted that's the biggest diamond ram that we've gotten in a long time. And now I understand why it was so difficult to get him. Because he's a freaking giant. Look at the size of the curl on him. I never really did get a good chance to look at him. Because by the time we actually saw him, we really needed to get ready and go for a shot almost instantly. But yeah, he's absolutely enormous. Oh my God, is he huge. One more time, we'll take a look at that shot. Ended up making a beautiful double lung shot. You can see we held right on the back of that front shoulder there. When they are broadside, the seven millimeter definitely does a good job. Just when they're quartering a little bit, we know we got to hold lower for next time. But wow, what a ram. All right, well, I can definitely say that was for surely worth it going after him. It was 100,000% worth it. Now let's go over here and see if we can't get lucky enough to get the other max weight bighorn, which is also going to be a guaranteed gold. In fact, he might be right down here. All right, something tells me that's going to be him right there, and we just might jump him up. If we do, we happen to have the AR-308 locked and loaded. Right there he is. I don't think he's pooped. No. That's not him. Oh my god, that's not him. That's the wrong one. Talk about a view though. We can see everything from up here. I mean, he's got to be in range from here, right? So we got tracks there. He was headed this way. gotta be down there somewhere 
There he is. There he is. There he is. Right there. Right there. Right there. He's 100 yards out coming in. Oh, it's going to be a tough shot. Rolled him right over. Perfect shot. We got him. Yeah, we had maybe half a second to get that shot off or he would have been gone. Whew. I'm so glad we pulled that off. And that will also make the ultimate dream hunt. The ultimate sheep dream hunt. Let's take a look at this one. It's going to be a 146 gold. And we pulled off a double lung liver stomach shot on the walk at 100 yards. There we have it. He was a pretty big one. 297 pounds. Wow. Very nice ram. Very, very nice ram. Definitely would have been our biggest one. Had we not, of course, found that absolutely giant diamond bighorn sheep. All right. Now let's head over to Quattro. And hopefully we can find ourselves some huge sheep. Holy, 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 holy. Giant whitetail buck. Giant whitetail. I didn't even know we're still recording. Another giant. Oh my god, two giant bucks out here. Get the rifle out. 300 yards. Smoked him. He's going down. Oh my god, we were seconds from going to a new map. All of a sudden, I look up and I was like, that's a huge white tail buck. That's a huge white tail buck. Pull up the scope. He's got a 236 minimum on the estimate. And we pull out the seven millimeter and made an incredible shot. And there he lays right there at about 300 yards. All right, our buck was walking right here and we took the shot right here. That's definitely a nice vital hit. He ran off this direction. And I'm pretty sure he piled up. Yep. Right here. Let's pick him up. It's going to be a 238 gold. And we pulled off an incredible trotting 283 yard shot on that giant buck. What a heck of a shot. Look at the angle that we had there. Taking the shot kind of downwards as he's walking up the hill. And we hit that thing almost right on the money. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful shot placement. Maybe a hair high because he wasn't quite 320. But overall, just a phenomenal shot and a giant, giant white tail buck. 238 gold. All right, now I promise we're going to go after some move All right, now I promise we're going to go after some giant move But I mean, how are you going to pass that up, honestly? We just made it out here to Quacho Colinas and we're in search for some giant mouflon. Honestly, it would be absolutely amazing if we could get ourselves a diamond. I've never gotten a diamond mouflon and today we happen to have a diamond huge bighorn sheep. How much more perfect would it be if we could get a huge diamond mouflon? on top of it not bad not bad our first sighting of a mouflon and it happens to be a giant we got a 140 plus out there at about 230 yards and another nice one there and apparently there's a wolf bedded right behind him so we're not gonna have a whole ton of time to take this shot but what a heck of a mouflon i figured there was another big one in there so there's two huge four mouflon right out there. And it's really hard to see the other one, but this one here is definitely the biggest one. However, it is not a very good angle for that shot. Now take a look at this view from right here. We're overlooking this ravine and we're kind of high up here. Uh, in fact, I'll show you where we are on the map in just one second, but there's a nice little water source down below us here and they're kind of just bedded right on top of this ridge yeah i don't really know if we could go for the angle of a shot or not we may try and get to a better position to get a vital hit and we're looking at about 220 yards I don't like that icon popping up. That's why we didn't take the shot, but. Wow, 
We dropped him. Holy. What a shot. Huh. Wow. Um, I don't even know what we hit. But it was something good because he is laying right there. And try and gradually get down there. I don't know if we can actually get down there without falling down. But we'll give her a shot. Man, what a heck of a view. And actually, as we're going down here... I'll show you on the map. We are by Meridor de Dona Amelia. And we kind of started from here and we worked our way around the edge of this ledge here. And right now we are right here. This is where we took down that huge mouflon right there. But you can see all the way around this ridge. And it is such a nice view. All right, so they were laying right here. And in fact, this is exactly where they were bedded. There were six of them bedded right here. And here is the biggest of them all. Oh my God, is that a huge move on? 155.99. And we did in fact pull a lung, liver, and stomach shot at 235 yards. So that is some really, really good penetration. And a huge move on down. There's only one size that's bigger than this. And that's gonna be a huge four, or potentially even a diamond. We just kicked up a huge red deer stag out there. And made an incredible shot. Woo! He's already going down. Oh my god, was that a heck of a shot. I thought we'd have a little more time to get on him. And I was thinking about talking more. But then I realized I better take the shot quick because he's going to be gone. And we took the shot. And it connected. Big time. All right, we took the shot right there. And he's piled up right here. So he didn't go 25, 30 yards and tipped over. Well, let's take a look at this giant and ended up getting a stomach liver lung shot at 200 yards on the run. He's gonna be a 195 gold and a 468 pound huge red deer stag. Look at the rack on that. Ooh, there we go. We just got us on another herd of mouflon cutting across this wide open out here. And there's a huge level four. He's actually not max weight, but he is a super high score estimate out there at about 316 yards. He's going to come through that opening right there any second. I believe that's him right there. Ooh, that's a good three. There he is. Smoked him. He's down. Oh my god, there's another giant. There's another giant. Uh, got him a little bit high. We drilled that thing right in the spine. I thought he was further. I don't know why. And there's a huge six out there as well. Okay, R4. That's a massive six, actually. I believe R4 is stopped. Oh, that's because he's down. Well, we didn't make the greatest shot on that one. We definitely did get him in the vertebrae, but we also definitely did get him. So, well, that still is two. Massive move on down, no matter how you look at it. One was a great, great shot. And the other one, I might have rushed that shot just a little bit. Although we didn't have a ton of time either because he's probably about to bolt at any second. I mean, I do believe they're both pretty much about the same size, to be honest. And here is the huge four. 145. Took him at 302 yards. That's why. That was only 300 yards. 145 gold. And he was massive. Oh my god, 155. He's as big as our biggest one so far. Dude, that shot was 350 yards. So our shot wasn't even bad. That, I mean, that height was pretty good. It's just that he was quartered so much that we would have had to have been way the heck up here to hit that thing decent. And that's a really, really tough angle. Really tough angle. It's a long ways out. 350 yards is quite a ways. But hey, a huge Mouflon is down.
Though I don't actually think we're going to be finishing off with that huge diamond mouflon. We do, however, have two incredible stags out here. 150 yards straight below us. Like, talk about an incredible setup. And in this case here, we're going to take out the AR and try and get both of them. Though it would be kind of cool to take that far of a shot with the bow. I don't think we're going to go for it. Nah, it's a little bit too far. All right, let's get ready and make something happen. First one is smoked. Second one should be. All right. Oh, we got some wild boar taken off down there as well. All right. I do believe that should take down both of them. But the first one is laying right there. That was an absolutely incredible trotting shot on that stag. And we took him down from the top of the Colina Rhoda Mountain. Right here. So let's go pick him up. And that is going to be it. That is also a very, very deep fall. Alright, and that is going to finish our big sheep hunt. It's going to be a giant 198 gold. And we got a shoulder double lung spine shot there. 120 yards. So overall, we had one heck of a successful hunt today. A huge diamond bighorn, and we did get a couple of beautiful, big gold mouflon. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.